Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of New Pokemon Snap. If I remember correctly, last episode it was a while ago, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but we visited the cave on Darice Island for the first time. Um, today we'll be heading back there, I'd say. I think we just unlocked its second level. We might see some new Pokemon we didn't see before, which would be nice, you know. The cave is a very interesting place. We saw some Sableyes, some Krogunk, um, some Crobat, uh, Joltik. Maybe we'll see some new ones or get to do some new things with some old encounters we saw here. There was the Gengar we saw, too. Multiple Gengar. Which is nice. Let's see what this place has to offer for us in this second visit. There's some Noibat. I don't think these guys were in this place before. Didn't get a great picture of them, but closer is Carbink. Doing a little spin. Very cute. Uh, I remember, wasn't there a Gengar back here? Yeah, there was. Can we get him to do something new? No, it doesn't look like it. Just kind of peeks out. Oh, he missed it with the apple. Um, there's the Joltik. We set, we met these guys for a crowbat right there. Interesting. Can we throw him right in the middle? Yeah. The cute one. Oh, three little Joltik. Um, oh, there's one right there. Climbing up on the wall. There you go. Some nice pictures though, so we'll leave him. Let him be. I think that Gengar hole is new. Oh, we almost, we almost, oh, we did hit the crowbat. Oh, that was a nice picture. Right dead center too. Here's another Gengar hole. Can we get him to come out? Yeah, we can. Carbank, apparently. <laughs> um, going down here. That's right. This is the big open area with the Braviary asleep, right? Is it still going to be there? Maybe not. doesn't look like it. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's not asleep this time. It's kind of looking around. Maybe it wasn't asleep last time. It was just kind of sitting there. Oh, we hit it. Nice. Oh, it can fly if you hit it. I wonder where it goes. Oh, is it just going to come closer? Oh, that's sweet. That was a good picture of Braviary. Oh, there's another one above us. I didn't even notice. Are they going to do anything since there's two of them now? Maybe not. Wait, maybe if we hit the Magikarp, they'll swoop or something. Oh, Drifloon. That's a new Pokemon. Oh, nice one. A Crobat right there. Can we get the Magikarp to come out? Maybe the Braviary will do something. Like, come swoop down at him. Maybe not. What wonder if the Magikarp actually even do anything then. It's a Noibat. Krogunk. There we go, we got one of him doing something. It's interesting. Oh. Whoa, Rampardo. Oh, he's, they're blocking the way. Oh, do we get to go a new way, that means? It totally does. We're going this way now, aren't we? Good thing we came back here. with some Geodude that are a bit angry at each other. We're taking a lot of pictures. We need to be careful. We might see some new Pokemon we didn't see otherwise. Want us to scan. Oh, a hanging Crobat. Looks ready to fall. Oh! Can we make it fall with apples? We can. What does that do? Does that do anything? What did it do? I don't see what it did. Um, weird. Um. But that was a Pokemon. I saw a little glimmer. This is very pretty down here. There's some Sableye chasing. Oh, a Carbink. Oh, can we scare the Sableye away? I love Sableye, but that's so evil of them. that way anything oh there's one sableye creeping around it's telling me to scan something this way what is it these crystals are probably formed by heat from a magma pool interesting interesting there's a mawile over there just creeping uh, i was trying to get it for it turned around the one up there did too i was afraid this guy was gonna this gal whoa opening it's big maw as you'd expect a mawile to do oh Little Sableye kind of sleeping. That's adorable. Hi, Sableye. Some nice pictures of it. What's down here? What's down here? Anything? Anything else? I feel like we're probably getting close to the end. We've been going for a while. Whoa, it's like a jungle. I see, like, leaves and stuff. There's some Vivalon. Jungle pattern. Interesting that they're here and not in the jungle. There's some Noibat. Make them sparkle. Hopefully we can get close enough to get some nice pictures of them. We don't have any of them that just like sitting on the ground, I don't think, do we? Maybe we can get one of them eating. Wow, those are some good pictures. Oh, scan. See the end there. Uh oh. What's this? Plants covered in ruins are from the same area as the others. There's a lot of car bake around here. Oh, and there's a crystal bloom. We hit it. What is it going to do?
Okay, so sleeping Rampardos. Whoa! So I'm giving off a warm glow. Maybe this is why plants grow. Interesting. That's kind of cool. That maybe the stone is like replacing the sun in this underground environment. That's really cool, actually. I wonder if that works in real life. I would not assume so, but that's pretty sick. Not like a big plant person, but it's pretty cool. I can barely keep a plant alive. I've killed a cactus before, which is like impossible to do, and I managed to do it. So. Yeah, a little sleep and sable eye are on his side. That's so cute. It's four star, apparently. Nice. That was a good run. We saw a lot of new Pokemon and found a new route. My bad, all smiley. Carbank. Gengar. Hey, apparently the old one was better. Interesting. Crobat. Why did I choose that one? We had a great one. The Joltik. Yeah, that's a cute one. Um, Braviary about to take off. Nice picture. The Drift. That's the Crobat picture I was thinking of. Are you serious? And it counted it as Drifloon? That's so annoying. Krogunk. Uh, the Rampardos blocking our way. Nice, nice. The Geodude button heads. Sleep and save life. Apparently that was a request. Nice. Mawile getting angry at us. Showing her big Ma for a while. The Bibelon. Apparently it was a four star one. Maybe it's because it was a weird pattern. Who knows? I don't really know how they do that with the Bibelon. Maybe we got enough to level up. We got some nice pictures. Not quite, but. Perseverance is a king green of research. He got my help every step of the way. Got something for it. Giant crystals. Nice. Steel collector. Crystals. It's type steel, whatever. By the way, it's your progress you made in your research. Got something to report. Fill in with your photos squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I think so too, because we didn't really have a plan for this episode until now. What you got for us, Professor? Better be something cool. Or else, you know. I've got a camera and I know how to use it. I've got apples too, I could chuck them at you. What do you got for us, Professor? Just imagine, plants thriving so deep underground. What wonders the world hides? Hey, Professor, what's the important thing you wanted to tell us? Ah, uh, yes, good news. Located an Illuminate Pokemon in Teresa Island. That's right. Picked up that familiar reading coming from a large empty space deeper in the cave. We found our last Illumina Pokemon. You know what to do, trusty photographer. Maybe I do. Um, first, honestly, I say we revisit the cave once more, just to see what else we can find there. And then we can head to the Illumina spot, is the last thing we do. So we'll head back to the cave. I promise we'll visit the Illumina spot today. I like to finish off episodes on those, you know, give you something to look forward to at the end of the episode. So let's see what the cave has to offer one more time, and then we'll head to the Illumina spot. Uh, I'm trying to think of what, maybe like a big... It's normally a Pokemon we haven't really seen before, and we've seen Crobat, otherwise I would say that. Oh, maybe a Noivern. Oh, my bat's evolution, maybe a... Whoa! Maybe a Galvantula. We haven't seen that yet. We've seen a lot of Joltik. I feel like that'd be one that makes sense. The gold Galvantula. Ooh, carving. You gonna eat? That's a new picture for sure. We definitely haven't seen a carving eat. Wall Joltik. Let's hit it with an apple. Got the apple falling in the picture. Oh, there's another wall Joltik. Little spider. Down there. No, not interesting. That was a nice one of Crobat. So we've gotten enough of Gengar. <laughs> gotten more than enough of Gengar. Missed that Joltik. It's close. I think we'll go the new way again. Because it seems a lot cooler. You can see some Sableye, some Mawile, you know. Down there. I want to see if we can maybe make that Stalactite fall faster. Maybe it does do something we were just too slow. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see if we can get him to come out too, and then maybe. Yes. The. Mat oh. Okay, we hit that. And I, I really think these Magikarp, they've got to do something. No way, these are just another Magikarp, you know? Maybe. Honestly, yeah, that's probably what it is. How do we get these guys to turn around too? They're like obsessed with that. Oh, uh, music maybe? No, scan? I was about to say, wasn't there a Glalie that used to be here? There's the back of him. Oh, Clefairy, that's new. 
right? Sleeping Krogonk. Okay, let's... We have to scan to go this way or is it automatically going to do it? Oh no, it looks like it's automatically going to do it. Okay, so on level 2 it looks like it pushes us this way no matter what. Crobat Shadow were cool. I wish the shadows were worth something. Okay, let's make the slide type ball. Do something. It's not doing anything. Oh, it looks like Crobat are flying away. Maybe we're just missing it. It's annoying that we're not getting any cool pictures, you know? I was really hoping that would do something. Surprised it doesn't, honestly. Or maybe it, to there's no way it doesn't, you know? Like, we're totally just missing something. How do we. I want to save this little carpet. Can we? like if you can save it somehow and do something cool that car bank is like no i'm out of here <laughs> doesn't want to deal with these sable eye we get some sable eye eating action i mean from the back oh my while oh from the front this time nice maybe we can get a better sable eye eating if we do it here Eat up, Sableye. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's try to look behind us. We didn't really do too much last time. Mama, will you eat? I think we hit it. That ruined our chances. No, it's not like it'll eat, though, anyway. um, What's down here? Right, the jungle. Oh. Honestly, couldn't remember. There was the Crystal Bloom way over there. We gotta remember. So let's make sure to hit that. Oh, it didn't do anything last time. Fly no way back. I didn't mean to hit you, but it was a nice picture. Uh... Oh, that's cool with the thing in the background. Okay, so it's like right here. I see something moving over there. It's the thieves. It's a really oh, sleeping rampardos. That's new. I feel like it's like instinct of mine to throw aluminum orbs at everything I see now. Yeah, we didn't get much there. That's that's kind of annoying, but we have an aluminum spot to look forward to. So it's not a total bust. Um, what did we get on that one? Mawile from the front, Sableye eating, Noibat getting destroyed by an apple really about it got disappointed with the stalactite i guess oh we got a lot in oh no i guess we got we got glalie clefairy a new one of joltik so we got quite a few honestly that was worth it yeah check out those photos you want to bat gengar oh i forgot we saw those gengar over there carbank staring at the wall <laughs> interesting joltik getting hit Crobat. yeah okay that's good drifloon Okay, so we got some good ones. Glalie. The Clefairy. Unfortunately, not looking at us. It's not the best picture, but it's a new Pokemon. Rogung. Sableye. From it chose that one of all, really. We had one looking straight at us eating, but okay. Whatever you say, Professor. Maybe that wasn't all I thought it was going to be. But probably enough to level up, right? Just in case we want to come back here. Right? Yeah, okay. Level 3 cave. That's nice. Amazing. Your research on this core is going great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but we have... Yeah, let's... let's. I think we have a few requests we need to claim. So we'll claim those and then do the Illumina thing. Just so I can build up some more, you know, excitement. Uh, yeah. Requests. We have some new ones, too, we haven't claimed. Or we haven't even looked at, I should say. Anything on these pages? I don't think so. Claim most of these, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, what else? What else? What else? I know we got... I know the Sableye, at least, is a new one. Right? Yeah, okay. Right here. Sound asleep. That's an adorable little Sableye pose. Some cool little... look like glasses. 
Um, let's go to research. Head to the Illumina spot. I'm so excited. See a new Illumina Pokemon. Hopefully it's cool. I gotta place my my bet on what it is. Um, in the cave. Um. Oh crap! I gotta be fast. Um, I'm gonna say Noivern. Noivern. I got. It's gotta be Noivern, right? We've seen a bunch of Noibat. It's a big old cave. They're big burrows. So it's not. I'm gonna say it's not Noivern. I have no clue though. Is that Steelix? That's totally Steelix. That was totally the tail of a Steelix. Okay, we're on the track of an Illumina Steelix. That's a cool Pokemon. I think I said Steelix was going to be the Illumina Pokemon for the Volcano, didn't I? That was close, I guess. Where's that? As always, got to hit it with some orbs. Where's that? My controller's vibrating. So it's... Oh, there it is. Oh, we just missed it. I don't think it's glowing yet, but... It's in one of the holes. Try to run Clough Root in them. Okay. How do we know which hole it's in? Scan. Feel vibrations coming beyond this hole. Oh, there it is. Oh, we missed. That's that's gonna be hard. I think we should throw the apple and then immediately throw the orb. I feel like we gotta like predict its movements almost. This is definitely gonna be a hard one. Scan. Where? So let's throw, and then... There we go, there we go, it totally is glowing. We got it, we got at least a picture of it. That's something, you know? Oh, dang it, we missed it going right overhead of us. That would have been so sick. We got one of its face, though, which is nice. It was a nice picture. We already lit it up. Come on, Rita. You should know that. I already even got a picture of its face, which is nice. Ooh, is it in here? Man, we just keep barely missing it. It's a presence in the fog. I'm gonna say it's down there, isn't it? It hit it once, right? Now it's on this side, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's it's Illumina. It's a, it's Illumina factor is ready. Was it on this side of us again? We're not getting any good pictures of it. Again, we got the one, so it's okay. But obviously, I'd like some nice ones, you know. Then come out. If you're in. If you're in within the fog, then. Man, this this one's not going great. But we got the one really good picture of it early on, so I think that's okay. Where you at, Steelix? You up here? You up, Steelix? There's a crystal boom in there. Keep note of that. Might immediately illuminate the Steelix if we hit it. Make sure he's not behind us. Trying to creep up on us would be pretty funny if he was just like standing there. Like waiting for a good picture and we weren't even noticing. It's a cool one though. Yeah, it feels a lot more like a boss fight. Like we're kind of being watched by the Steelix, you know? It's like checking us out. Making sure we're, we're capable of taking some good pictures of it. Where is it? Is he broken? Steel looks break. Oh. Okay, ready? Wrong, wrong. Throw. He's, he's totally about to come right back out though, so let's get ready. Right? Steelix. Okay. Well, we got quite a few. So, no worries. We got a few pictures of them that were good. <sighs> Whatever. It was interesting. Oh, before you turn, could I try to make a quick detour? Um, sure. I guess. I thought the Steelix ran away, he said. Something caught my attention while we were chasing after that Steelix. Hey, so it's not the Steelix we're checking out. Past that broken wall. It used to be a large open area. I can't say it's not natural. It's human-made. But it's just begging to be explored. I mean, that's he's right. That is that's very interesting. Down deep this far, it's human made. And this Steelix hasn't destroyed it for whatever reason. Whoa, what is this place, Professor? Hmm. 
Can't say for sure, but I think it might be another room connected to the Illumina Pokemon. Specifically to Steelix. That's a little emblem that's on our, our badge we got for our photography expedition. It's on our hat. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a big mural. Oh, <laughs> look at that mural. So it has pictures of all the Illumina Pokemon, it looks like, right? Yeah, Milotic, Pokrona, Steelix, Wishy Washy, Meganium. Oh, there's the Meteors, I think. It looks like they're protecting it. There's a big flower in the middle, maybe a crystal bloom. Maybe that's why they're start like showing up, sparkling. It's been made around the time the meteor said that's probably what those are, I'm gonna say. It's cool. Let's grab a picture of each of the Pokemon. No, we probably won't get to really use them, but it's cool. Show what the people saw back then. I think it's this is a big crystal bloom and that they're getting glowed from it. Now that's the power coming back to meteorites, maybe? I'm gonna protect them from the meteorite. Pounders on these Pokemon. Could they be Illumina Pokemon? Oh yeah, they, they do have the patterns on them. Looking too really good on the Milotic stuff, so like fins or body. Illumina Pokemon exist before the meteorite fell. After all, not strange or anything. Maybe some big sand. <laughs> hmm. Professor, it's cool though. Oh, sorry, got a bit lost in thought. Oh, there's crystal blooms up there too. Got some good data for you now. It's sort of once you're back. Quite a few crystal blooms up there. Have we seen white ones? I don't think we've seen white ones. I think maybe. Maybe this island was purple. First island was like blue. Second was like red. Volcano was like orange. Got a lot to discuss, but first, get your photos evaluated. And the water was like. What was the water? Water, I don't think, was. Which one is it going to pick for us? Okay, quite. You know, no, no, you know what? I'm not even lying. You. You're you're picking this one. Which one? Yeah, this one. He's looking right at it. I know the other one was two stars, and this one's one, but he's dead center of the screen, looking right at it. This is a diamond picture for sure. So, chill out, professor. Take this one star and just live with it, buddy. Yeah, that's right. That better be diamond, no doubt. Now level up the Illumina spot so we can go back there and see some new Pokemon. Nice. Leveled up. A set four for your research. And Underground Guardian. That's a cool name for Steelix. By the way, now you've got the Illumina Pokemon info. I've got something to report. Billion wants your photos squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. I guess let's return to camp real quick and see what he has to say. Probably about the ruins, I would assume. My money's on, at least. Oh, it might just be like, hey, good job. Go check out the old places. Oh, no, it's definitely something new. We got another new island. We have one more area to explore before our survey comes to an end. Ready for the final frontier? Oh, you know it, man. What's going on? Fill us in. That mural has turned my whole theory on its head. Not only is there another Illumina Pokemon, but they've been also all but they've also been around since before the meteorite. Is it just me, Professor, or is that excitement in your voice? It's not just you. That wasn't what I expected, but it's it's fascinating discovery. Plus, I've gone all over our data, and it shows that energy from all over Lentil is converging in one spot. And in that same spot, we picked up a very faint reading from an Illumina Pokemon. The central one from the mural? It seems like it. So where is it? That's the tricky part. Point to a tiny island that doesn't even appear on the map. And there, most likely, is where we'll find the island spoken of in the legend, Horus Island. Time for one final expedition. Let's find the truth once and for all. Very exciting. But that's for another time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of New Pokemon Snap. Uh, remember to come back up next episode. Uh, we'll be taking some nice pictures of Pokemon, as always. What else do you expect in this game? Maybe throwing apples at a few. That's a it's another thing you should expect. I know. Um, again, thank you guys so much for coming around and watching. Make sure to come back next time. Drop a like and comment what Pokemon you think we'll find. Uh, place your predictions for what you think that final Illumina Pokemon will be. It's very interesting that islands are on the map. Very mysterious. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. Have a nice day.